Honorable External Affairs Minister, Honorable Minister for Communication, Her Excellency Ambassador of Romania to India, Secretaries, Excellencies, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, Distinguished Guests, a very good evening to all of you. With great pleasure, I welcome you to this special event to mark the 75th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between India and Romania. Today, we mark this occasion with the release of a commemorative postal stamps. This milestone is a testament to our enduring friendship and strong diplomatic ties that have defined India-Romania relationship over the decade. The Indian Post handled 8 million letters and almost 2 million postcards last year. The stamps, more than being a tool of communication, are also a potent symbol of a nation's technological and cultural trajectory. Without much ado, may I now invite the Honorable External Affairs Minister of India, the Honorable Minister for Communications, and the Ambassador of Romania to kindly, jointly inaugurate and release the stamps. Sir, if you can kindly release the folders. Thank you. At this time, I would like you to have to pay attention to a brief video presentation prepared by the Department of Post. This short video highlights the design and significance of the stamps that we have just seen released, capturing the essence of our enduring partnership and the spirit of our 75 years of diplomatic relations with Romania. May we have that? Thank you. I am now honored to invite the Ambassador of Romania to India to share her thoughts with us. Excellency. Honorable Minister Deshankar, <clears throat> Honorable Minister Jotiradia Sindhya, Your Excellencies, dear guests, colleagues, and friends, Namaste. Apke Upastiti. आज हमारे साथ हमारे लिए एक बड़ी उपाधि है धन्यवाद I am particularly happy to witness at the end of my mission this seminal moment in the celebration of the 75 70 year, 6 years now this year of India Romania bilateral relations this joint stamp launch illustrates our common will to celebrate our continuously expanding relationship while building on what defines us and brings us closer, culture. My gratitude and warm thanks go to the Foreign Minister, who graciously accepted to launch the STEM today, along with the Minister of Communications, to the Philately Division of the Indian Post for the excellent work done in collaboration with Rome Philatelia, and to the MEA for hosting the event. The selected joint team, Popular Costumes, highlights an area in which both our countries are extremely rich. The Romanian blouse, named Ie, which you can see I'm wearing now, today, is celebrated yearly on June 24, and is part of our national identity. The blouse has different embroidery patterns from woman to man and from one region to another. The art of the traditional brow blouse with embroidery, embroidery on the shoulder, an element of cultural identity in Romania and the Republic of Moldova, was inscribed in 2002 uh, 2022, on the UNESCO representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. <clears throat> the styles and techniques vary according to the region and the wearer's age, as well as to the skills of the women who create the blouses. In Romania, each region has its own few, full popular costumes with various designs and colors expressing the cultural heritage of the respective area. In some areas like Maramures on Sundays, even nowadays people go to the church church dressed up in the region traditional costume. We hope to revive this custom in other areas in the country of, uh, as well. In India, people are still wearing traditional costumes for their daily lives. The variety of sari colors and the richness of waving patterns are unique to each state and region. 
For women, you have saris, kurta, shalwar kameez, churidar suit, lehenga, to name just a few. For men, there is kurta pyjama, shervani, dhoti, and the fam famous Nehru jacket. People-to-people -people contacts between Romania and India are increasing. We have some 10,000 Indian people residing and working in Romania, as well as some 100 mixed couple, couples living here in various parts of India. India is attracting a growing number of Romanian tourists. Indian culture is celebrated in Romania in the past 15 years through the Indian Namaste Festival, which takes place for three days in the summer, usually in the months of June. The International Yoga Day is also widely celebrated across the country. I would like to remind the August audience that Mircea Eliade, the eminent Romanian historian of world religions, was the first non-Indian scholar to write a synthesis on the Indian yoga systems, Yoga, Immortality and Freedom, published first in 1954, which he studied here from 1929 to 1932 with the famous Indian philosopher Surendranath Dasgupta. Further on, he practiced for six months yoga in Rishikesh with Swami Shivananda. Indian ancient, ancient texts as the Vedas and Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, influential works on Indian yoga system, the Ramayan, on Indian philosophies and religious has been translated and published in Romania in the past 30 years. At the University of Bucharest exists since many years a Hindi chair whose alumnus I am myself. So for all these cultural uh, similarities and uh, closeness, we are now today, we are witnessing this uh, excellent event, the stamp release, the joint stamp release um, with, with whose team are the, nas the national dresses. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ambassador. I now have the honor to request the Honorable Minister for Communication, Sri Jyotiraditya Madhurao Sindhiaji, to kindly share his thoughts with us. Minister of External Affairs, Dr. Jayashankarji, true ambassadress of her country and someone who has developed a very, very deep passion for India. Ambassador Sezunev Tani, Your Excellency is present here this evening. Secretary of Post, Vandita Kolji, Members of the External Affairs Ministry, ladies and gentlemen. It indeed is an honor for me and a heartfelt moment for me to be present here today at this event. Postage stamps have been a part of all our lives. But postage stamps are much more than just a means of communication. Postage stamps are much more, but they are small and powerful mediums to convey between peoples and between nations about stories, history, shared values between communities and peoples amongst countries. I believe that each stamp, Your Excellency, like yourself, is a miniature ambassador that conveys intangibly between people of two countries emotions, relationships as it transcends borders and brings people much closer together. In today's digital age, it reminds us of keeping our history alive as a mode of communication. And I do believe that while stamps are powerful tools of diplomacy, the issuance of a postage stamp allows a country to portray itself from its heritage point of view, its achievements point of view, its historical point of view, 
its landmarks and its traditions. And whilst you're on that journey, it is also a tangible representation of friendship, mutual respect, and a spirit of collaboration. While doing all of these, when you issue a joint postage stamp, then those two countries also display the promotion of a dialogue, a deep understanding, and goodwill between nations. The Postal Department in India from 1991 has issued only 33 such joint postage stamps. And therefore, on this day, as we mark the 75 years of diplomatic relations between Romania and India, this stamp too will join that hallowed gallery, the preserve of just a few, to exhibit the deep and wide relationship between India and Romania. Our relationship between our two countries, ladies and gentlemen, extend way before India gained her independence. It's not a relationship that is written solely in treaties or in agreements. It is a relationship which is a tale which is steeply framed in the fragrance of curiosity. A relationship that was a spirit between two ancient lands as they called out to one another. And long before the formal diplomatic channels were established between our two countries, our scholars, artists, thinkers of both nations with a curious mind towards each other, as if they were connected by some invisible thread already stitched together, the lattice of a relationship between our two countries. Romania with its medieval castles, literature, art, history, folklore, ignited the mind of many curious Indian thinkers, philosophers, and historians. And similarly, India with her ancient Vedas, deep philosophy in the Upanishads, the spirit of yoga that Her Excellency talked about, ignited the curiosity of many Romanians decades and centuries ago. And therefore, this relationship that was formalized in a diplomatic manner in 1948. Two countries emerging from very tumultuous times came together and celebrated, started celebrating a relationship which was very much like the opening up of the petals of a flower. And that relationship has only grown in the last 75 years. Romania, with its strategic position in Eastern Europe, strategically positioned from an economic point of view, from a geopolitical point of view, and India, with its strategic positioning in the Global South, both countries that had put together a relationship which, in our words, ek adhyatmik rishta, a philosophical relationship, a Sanskritic sambandh, a relationship based on literature much richer than just about economic power. That formalization then took place. And therefore, in the 60s and 70s, that partnership grew as Romania became a trade and industry power. And there was an exchange of goods and trade that took place from Indian textiles, tea, spices, to Romanian engineering goods, machinery and expertise. Today, India and Romania exchange and share a very deep relationship across multilateral fora, where we speak in one voice. We speak in one voice not only for our people, but we speak in one voice for humanity. 
and an example of that, my personal relationship with Her Excellency. When Prime Minister Modi directed four cabinet ministers under the stewardship of our external affairs minister, Mr. Dr. Jayashankar, to rescue our students from Ukraine. And I was given the responsibility of Romania and Moldova. And I still remember that evening at 5.30 p.m. in the Civil Aviation Ministry when Her Excellency joined me. And for the first time in my life, I opened up a map to find out exactly where, where Bucharest within Romania is situated. How do I get to the border from Bucharest? How do we access Ukraine from Romania? What should we be doing on Moldova? And Her Excellency sat with me with a glass of water and a cup of coffee for the next hour and a half as we strategized on my table with a map drawn in front of us. And these were two people who had never met before in their lives. And within an instant, sparked off an engagement which dealt with a humanitarian purpose. And I must on this day, from this podium, thank the Prime Minister of Romania, who gave me that opportunity to meet with him, extended all assistance from the Romanian government, every single stakeholder within Romania, not only your elected representatives and your ministers, your police men and women, your teachers, your hostelers, your mayors, who sat there and treated every student and every child and every boy and girl of ours as their own. This is the relationship between Romania and India, ladies and gentlemen. When I visited those facilities, they were busy preparing beds for them to sleep on, busy preparing tea and coffee, food, lunch and dinner, asking me what would our students like. This is the depth of our relationship between our two countries. And therefore, today, standing on this stage, at this poignant and important moment, as we release this stamp, a stamp that signifies not only the cultural umbrella bet between Romania and India, but our deep symbiotic relationship, our deep understanding of each other's purpose as we walk with humanity, as we preserve and fight for the cause of humanity. This stamp is a wonderful exhibition of our cultures, where our Romanian gentlemen and lady are from Bihor County are shown in their traditional costume, red, black and green, wearing a white shirt and the lady wearing a lambskin coat. Our gentleman and lady from India in a dhoti kurta and a lehenga choli, our traditional dress. And I must on this day thank both our artists, Mr. Jairaj T.G. on the Indian side and Mr. Mihail Vamasescu on the Romanian side for the beautiful portrayal they have done and we must acknowledge their contribution to this stamp as well. And I am confident that today will be another hallmark day in our relationship going forward. Not only to countries, not only to economic growth engines, but to peoples, to cultures, to great histories, to great lands. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, thank you, sir, for very comprehensive remarks. Uh, I now have the honor to request Honorable External Affairs Minister to address this gathering, please. My cabinet colleague, Sri Jyotiraditya Sandhyaji, Ambassador Sezanov Tanik, Excellencies, Secretary West, Secretary Post, colleagues from MEA and Department of Post. Namaskar, a very good evening. And I want to join my colleague, Minister Sandhya, today uh, in also uh, expressing how important today is both as a celebration of the 75th anniversary of our diplomatic relations 
as well as India-Romania friendship. I must say, looking at all of you, I am very impressed by the turnout from the diplomatic community. Obviously, I think it reflects the warm regard you have for Ambassador Sezanov Tane, or maybe you are just secret stamp collectors. Uh, but I, it struck me as I was preparing for the function that even though Minister Sindhya is here in his capacity as the Minister for Posts, we could not have found a better figure to symbolize the relationship with India and Romania. Because <laughs> while he is remembering the first meeting he had with the ambassador, I also remember the many conversations we had when he was in Romania. And he would relate to me, uh, in fact, much what he very succinctly shared with you, the great effort which the government, the people, the local authorities of Romania made to get our students out, including, if I remember rightly, opening an airfield uh, particularly uh, for that purpose for us. Mr. Sindhya also made one other important point, which for me was new and I, I appreciate it very much, which is that in 77 years we've had only 33 occasions to do a joint stamp and I think that also should tell us something both about the deep bonds of friendship and the importance of the occasion today. Now, on the, you know, the idea of releasing a stamp on an anniversary is something which has been practiced in diplomacy before. And I think there are many reasons for it. Uh, the ambassador brought out some of it, which is, and particularly when one projects uh, couples with in their uh, in their uh, national dresses, national costumes. It is, in a way, uh, a, a message of our cultural and, I would say, uh, uh, traditional uh, personality of a society. It is, it is a, uh, in a way, underlining of an identity. And it's a very good way of doing it because perhaps in the age of globalization, uh, it is important that we each uh, take pride in our distinctive features rather than be overwhelmed by the compulsions of uniformity. So I join Minister Sindhya in thanking those who designed this stamp, in thanking the Department of Posts, uh, the Ro its Romanian counterpart, uh, Rome Philatelia. And I, I really uh, must say that you know these very elegantly brought out stamps in many ways uh, capture our sentiments uh, today. Now, in terms of our own relationship, again, uh, Minister Sindhya spelled it out from the uh, era, from deep recesses of history to its more modern incarnation. Uh, and, and it is true that, you know, uh, when we look at the trade routes between India and Europe, Romania had a particularly important uh, position there. And uh, I think uh, you have, as I understand, archaeological sites uh, in Romania, which show Indian connection and, and uh, vice versa. Today, I want to underline that uh, in many ways we are building on history. That as, as uh, India rises, as our economy gets bigger, as we look for a stronger partnership with European countries, for us, how to build a contemporary connect between India and Europe has become an increasingly uh, important endeavor. And last year, we took a big step in that regard, which is to, uh, to contemplate an India-Middle East-Europe uh, uh, connectivity corridor. Uh, and certainly, it's our uh, expectation, it is our hope, that in the coming years, this corridor will take concrete form. I think work on it has started. There are uh, some, some developments which we didn't cater for last year. Uh, but when I... Uh, look ahead, I'm very confident that what was what we regard as an inheritance of history in many ways, this connect between India and Europe will actually take a modern form, will uh, emerge as one of the uh, really the crucial connectivity corridors uh, in the world today. Our own ties with Romania, of course, are close, they're warm, they're very substantive. Uh, we have a trade, I think, in excess of a billion and a half. Uh, dollars. Uh, there is an Indian community of 9,000 Indians, maybe more, uh, living in Romania. 
uh, I'm told there are more and more students who are going there. And uh, I take the occasion to say that I've done my part. I mean, I, not, I see that I've met my Romanian counterpart in 2024, 2022, and 2021. Uh, and I've had in the past, uh, much earlier not in my ministerial incarnation, to visit Romania three times, and I promised the ambassador that uh, perhaps I will do so again in the near future. But uh, I would like to set our relations with Romania against a larger setting, and that is of Europe. Uh, and I would like to uh, convey to all of you that if you look at the last decade of the government of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, perhaps no government in our history has paid as much attention to developing ties with Europe as we have seen in the last decade. Not just ties with the big nation states, not just ties with Brussels, but ties with the sub-regions, with individual countries, and Today, as we mark 100 days of the third term of the Modi government, uh, I note that already the Prime Minister has been twice uh, to Europe in these 100 days. So I mention that because uh, I do uh, want to take the occasion to say that we in India today look at a multi-directional, multi-vector foreign policy. For us, multipolarity is an emerging reality we would like to connect more and more deeply with all corners of the world. Uh, obviously, there will be a priority given to the neighborhood, to the extended neighborhood. But this is also an India today uh, whose diplomacy reaches you know, regions which uh, are far away, are physically far away. That if we, in a way, uh, uh, over the last decade, slowly a global footprint has started to come into being. Uh, and uh, in that, Again, I, because today is a day of celebrating our friendship with Romania, I do want to say that you know, we certainly hope that this bilateral relationship and the larger relationship with the European Union and with Europe uh, would, uh, uh, would uh, be an important feature in our diplomacy. Once again, I thank you all for joining uh, this uh, function today. Uh, and I hope that all the attendees get copies of this beautiful stamps to carry back. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. May I now invite Sri Arun Sahu, additional secretary and head of the division responsible for Central Europe, to propose a vote of thanks. Honorable External Affairs Minister, Honorable Minister of Communications, Secretary West, Secretary Department of Posts, Ambassador of Romania to India, Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, colleagues from the Department of Posts, from MEA, distinguished guests and friends. As we conclude this special event, let me take this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to the dignitaries and the participants for making today's event memorable and successful. First of all, I thank the Honorable External Affairs Minister of India for sparing precious time despite his hectic schedule. It is always a privilege and honor to benefit from his wisdom, insight and guidance. Thank you very much, sir. On behalf of MEA, I also thank the Honorable Minister of Communications for gracing the occasion. Sir, your present presence testifies the importance that we place to people-to-people -to -people ties in our external engagement. Thank you very much. I thank Secretary Post, Secretary West, uh, and Department of Post for their presence. I also sincerely thank the team Department of Post for preparing the excellent videos and stamps we released today. Both sides have worked hard for almost a year to produce this. A big thank you to Her Excellency Ambassador of Romania to India for her love for India and contribution to strengthening India-Romanian ties. I know Ambassador we disturbed your schedule in Nepal, but I am sure you will not regret it. As it is the most significant event before you leave India after com completing your tenure in uh, next month in India. As you told me that. Thank you for your understanding and your team's constant support. 
thanks to all of you ambassadors resident uh, uh, head of missions and the diplomatic corps for attending this event last but not the least i would also like to thank my uh, colleagues uh, ansuman and his team in protocol and central europe division my colleagues for meticulously organizing this event thank you all and have a wonderful evening there is some refreshment outside thank you very much Thank you.